Hello again, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you. So let's get into the uh, LCD display here and kind of show you what this guy's all about. So over here on the left, we've got display mode. Currently we're on the beats and project display, which is showing us bar, beat, division, tick, BPM, key, and signature. We can choose beats and time, now we're going to get bar, beat, division, tick. We're also going to get our time display over here. Maybe beneficial to maybe working with media or video, something like that, trying to score a video. You can uh, keep track of your um, time. And then we've got beats, which will just give us our bar um, positions and our tick positions. And then we've got time, if we want to just choose time by itself. And custom. Custom is really nice, actually. It's one I typically have set up and ready to go for myself and use quite often. Just because this is where the majority of the uh, arrangement information and project information is going to be displayed all at once. So up here again we have our time. Let me hit the play here. We've got our time, and then we've got our bars, beats, and ticks, position, and all that good stuff. Over here, this is our left indicator and our right indicator. So, and by the way, I just want to, you can actually, when you're in here, in these areas, if you want, you can just click hold, and you can move your playhead just by changing the number right there. So a nice little feature, but now back to this side. We've got our left indicator and our right indicator, and that is displaying the beginning and the end of this area right here. This guy, see how it's changing to the right here? And again, I can, I can just click here, type in, or drag if I want. I can do that for either side. So that's the left and right indicator, this guy right here. Now you've got over here your tempo, project tempo, and this is the project end button. So this is where you want the uh, project to end. You can drag it down. You can see if I come all the way down to two, it's just going to highlight the first two bars. And if we hit play, well, give it a second to think about playing for us, I guess. Typically, it'll just play those two bars. The project end is... See how it just stopped after two bars? The project end's good if you're maybe um, exporting specific short pieces of material. You can specify where you want that to end or bouncing the material. So I'm going to... You can double click in here and type in a value. I'm going to do that and put it back to 129. And here we've got our time signature note values and um, divisions. So 4-4 four, four and our 16th note, all that can be changed as well. And we've got our in and out. We don't have anything set up, so it's saying no, but we can set our MIDI in and out. And one of my favorite features, of course, is the CPU and your hard disk display. So it's going to show you the uh, CPU load and just how hard you're driving that. It's important as projects get more tracks and uh, more involved. Obviously, you want to keep an eye on your CPU load. And then additionally, you want to keep an, uh, ID, uh, an eye on your hard disk load as well. That's why I tend to like this custom setting uh, over most of the rest. And now further down here, we've got open giant beats display. That'll give us like a floating window to have our beats bar displayed out in the open for us. And the same with uh, time display. Again, if you're working with video or some sort of media that you need to score in a specific manner of time, that's nice to have available and a nice big visual there. I'll hit play. And 
we've got the final one here, the offset, which I'll cover a little bit further in another tutorial, and I'm not going to worry about it right now. So let's go back. It just it relies on some other things being covered first. So let's go back to the front here, and we'll dig a little deeper on the uh, LCD in the next uh, lesson.